is part three of our how to build a bike frame series and the GCN hand-built frame is nearing completion with considerable help from our teachers here at the Bicycle Academy like Andrew. Now believe it or not there are just two processes left to go before our bike is ready to roll. If you missed parts one and two of the series then the links to those videos are in the description but for now Andrew it's time to do some brazing right? That's right. Okay, what are all these bits and bobs that we've got plugged into the frame, first of all? So what we've got here in the head tube is some big lumps of brass. These are heat sinks. Okay. They're gonna draw some of the heat out of the tubes when we're brazing. They basically protect the tubes, stop them from overheating, and it helps maintain their shape. Okay, now what's the difference between brazing and the tacking that we've already done? So the tacking is um, little spots of braise. Yeah. So fundamentally it's the same thing, but basically there's not enough there to do the job. So okay. you could probably build this up, try and ride it, and it will fall apart. So we're gonna put some more braise on and then it will be nice and strong. Okay, let's do it. So it's not good enough to just lay down the braise anywhere on the frame. Okay. Because um, if we do it in the wrong place at the wrong time, then the frame will end up all twisted. So right. if we think about the head tube here, we don't wanna braise on the sides before we braise on the top and the bottom. Okay. If we braise on the bottom here first before we do anything else, then that's probably gonna steepen up the head tube and we don't wanna do that. Right. So I'm gonna start off by laying down some braise in this midsection here and here. Yeah. And then working my way around until we've built up the whole fillet. Okay. Right, you can see that the whole bike has been brazed up, but Andrew has been kind enough to let me loose on the most important part, the left rear dropout. So this is gonna be my first experience of proper brazing. We've done tacking, but I'm assuming there is a very different technique here, right? Yeah, that's right. So we're gonna put a bit of preheat into the area because the okay. dropout's quite a lot thicker yeah. than the seat stay here. Then uh, you're gonna start off by effectively creating another tack but then we're gonna add more material and we're gonna flow that around the join so we can build up a nice fillet. Okay, and where am I gonna start? I mean, there might be a stupid question, but... So we wanna make sure that we don't introduce any kind of misalignment into the frame. So we're gonna start along the center plane of the bike yeah. and then we're gonna ding dong each side of the join until uh, we've built up the full fillet. Okay, so it's a case of start at the front, then go to the back and then each side. That's okay, right. so no kind of like working your way around it. No, we don't wanna do that. If we did that over the ho whole frame, then it would all be a little bit wonky. Right, okay. Yeah, we don't want that. Stay there. Job, that's fine. Yeah? Yep. Right, one braised up frame. Look at that. Can we keep it like that? Uh, yeah, pretty much. We've got to do a few other bits and pieces. We've got to put some braise on, so we've got to do some finishing. So the first up is we need to ream and face uh, the head tube, and we need to cut the threads in the BB um, before we put it onto the alignment table. Right, that's, that's our final stage, right, the finishing. Pretty much, so Reaming, we're going to put it on facing. the alignment table, and then once we've done that, then we're going to start shaping the fillets. Yeah, Andrew, I'd like to say I know exactly what I'm looking at here, but obviously for the sake of the viewers, we'll, uh, perhaps you'd better explain. Okay, cool, so we've got the frame that we've just made and an alignment table, and we've, yeah. we've popped the frame on the table to see how straight it is. Okay. So the process of putting this much heat into the, um, into the frame to create the brazes, or indeed if you were welding, means that there's always gonna be a little bit of movement. Yeah. But as we can see here, everything lines up really, really well. So that means that straight after the brazing, it's, it's really straight. So then what we're gonna do is check everything in real detail, and if there's anything that we need to tweak a little bit, then we'll tweak it. Okay, and by tweaking, does that mean bending? Yeah, effectively, although not, it will be measurably with the table, but not to the naked eye. So we'll quite carefully put a little bit of force into the frame, or sometimes we'd use a little bit of heat to create a little bit of movement. Okay, so it's been reamed, it's been aligned, and now the final stage in the finishing process is to actually give it those classic flowing lines that you know and love from a Philip Brace frame. Jake here is about to do the honours, but what is the process? So basically, we've got enough braise to make it really strong. Yeah. But we want to make it super smooth so that we can't see the transition between the tubes under the paint. Uh -huh. So Jake's going to take a file and he's going to start smoothing that out right now and then he's going to follow up with some memory cloth. Okay, and how much can we actually get rid of here? Because you don't clearly want to lose any strength, but, you know, when do you stop filing? So there's all sorts of calculations that you can do, but fundamentally, we want to leave as much as we can on there and okay. just make sure that we've got a nice, gentle arc between the tubes. Okay, so that the braise is 
giving us strength. Absolutely. That is a thing of absolute beauty. But it's a pretty labour intensive process, this last bit, isn't it? The most labour intensive bit of the frame? Yeah, I mean, when you leave, Jake's going to keep going. He's not going to bed. Oh, thanks, Jake. Yeah. It's going to take about two days, and then it'll be really nice and smooth, and it'll be ready for paint. Wow, that is absolutely fantastic. Right, well, when you next see this frame, it is going to look very different. And in fact, when I next see this frame, it's going to look very different. There is going to be a full video on that, so make sure you subscribe to GCN in order that you don't miss it. And then, if you want to, of course, see parts one and parts two of this How to Build a Bike Frame series to see how this has all come together, click down here and down here. C can we have those back? Sure, you sure you can't spare them?